Good day, everyone. Uh, thank you for taking time to look at my video and to visit my page. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Sarah. Um, and to friends and family, thank you again for encouraging me to even do this page and for your support and prayers. Um, this month, October 6th, I went to uh, the doctors to have a, what seemed to be a minimally invasive procedure to remove part of a fibroid in my uterus, basically a benign tumor um, to reduce some bleeding that I had. Um, and I've had this issue with abnormal uterine bleeding for uh, a few years now. Uh, and it wasn't something that uh, I thought was going to be a big deal. Uh, and I was informed it's just you know a simple procedure and I, I had been struggling with anemia really badly and I had a blood transfusion prior to that that surgery but for all intensive purposes the surgery went well the transfusion was you know helpful in helping me uh, recover um, after the surgery um, however two days later although I had been scheduled for an appointment um, ten days later I received a phone call from my doctor saying that the fibroid was biopsied as you know normal protocol and they found out that the tumor was in fact malignant and I basically have um, a uterine cancer uh, specifically leiomyosarcoma which affects smooth muscle tissue or soft tissue so it's that category of cancer is called sarcoma so the kind of cancer that I have affecting my uterus it's very rare and uh, it's one of the rarest forms of cancer and uh, it turns out that maybe six in a million people have this cancer um, and it can affect not only a uterus but your abdomen and, and lungs more commonly. Um, they did notice through a PET scan that my uterus is affected obviously by the, the, the malignancy but also there looks like there's some um, spread to outside of my cervix as well from the PET scan but they won't be able to confirm that until they actually go in for the procedure which is called a laparotomy exploratory or exploratory laparotomy and um, during that time they will decide whether or not my ovaries need to be need to be removed as well as um, I guess any other areas that look like it may be affected by LMS. So um, this year has been trying already. For those of you who know me, I've um, I've been traveling the past couple years and struggling with medical issues in spite of that. But doctors didn't find anything when I had been going to the doctors, and I have medical expenses that have you know tallied up to like over ten thousand dollars in the past few years because I constantly have been going to the doctors for different things including the situation that I didn't realize later on would be diagnosed as cancer they don't know what stage for sure the cancer is they'll find out once they go inside to do that um, exploratory laparotomy which is basically uh, an abdominal cut that will expose you know the organs in that area kind of like a c-section um, and because of the cancer's possibility of spreading, you know, even though it's an invasive surgery, it's the best method um, in comparison to a laparotic, uh, laparoscopic robotic procedure. Um, so, you know, I was in China, I had been in Costa Rica prior, um, and I was in China when the COVID virus struck and I knew I hadn't been feeling well and I was afraid to stay there knowing that I had been feeling horrible and bleeding and not being able to get the kind of medical care that I knew I would need. So I left and I came back to um, Hawaii where I was previously and here I've been getting the treatment that um, led to me, you know, me discovering what's going on cancer-wise. So this page is really about asking for support um, for those of you who had already 
mentioned you wanted to support me in some way, shape, or form financially because I had been out of work after I came back from China for about six months. I wasn't able to, I wasn't eligible to uh, collect unemployment. And I'm currently working a part time job, um, but I am struggling with paying my rent and past medical expenses that I had prior to the insurance. So this page is really about, um, you know, seeking support from anyone who wants to support. And it doesn't have to be financial. It could really be through your prayers. Um, because I know God answers prayer. And sometimes I'm, I've gotten a little bit weary, but I've been encouraged by the prayers of my friends and family. And even strangers who don't know me, who I know are praying for me because of my friends and family. Um, and 2020 has been ridiculous for everybody <laughs> on so many different levels. Um, and friends and family have offered to come and visit me or me stay with them. But I'm really trying to stay where the treatment is and where I'm not exposing myself further to COVID. So um, at this point, I'm just trying to make sure my bills are paid, make sure my rent is paid and make sure I'm doing what I need to do medical wise because this cancer is aggressive and not only is it aggressive, it has um, I think a 70% recurrence rate, which means that um, within eight to 16 months, they predict that it's possible that it will come back again. So um, I'm just trying to figure out what the best means of taking care of myself is, you know, um, finding maybe another place to, to stay um, that has, I have the opportunity to uh, have more, you know, uh, care in some way, shape or form, or I don't know, I really don't know what to do. Um, I'm currently renting a room in a lovely home with lovely, lovely people um, that have been really a blessing to me, um, but I am struggling. And uh, I just ask for your prayers and whatever support you'd like to give. And if you would like more information about what's happening, um, you can continue to read on. And, uh, and I just appreciate your encouragement and your prayers. Thank you so much.